The B-24 really has always been a good airplane, and it's uh, flown for many years in the CAF, but every once in a while, you gotta kinda put them down. You gotta you know, give them the opportunity to sleep a little bit, let the guys climb all over them and, and do a lot of improvements. So they did, they did some big projects. They did the fuel tanks, looked over all the engines, and so really I've got, I've got no doubts in my mind that we're gonna go out and have a good flight today. Okay guys, uh, we're going to do a little mission brief here. Uh, Al and I are going to fly, Al's going to be co-pilot, I'll be PIC today. Go out, the mission brief is to do a uh, about a 30-45 minute test flight, make sure everything's running good, take a look at temps, pressures. All right, let's go fly. The real story is here again. Look to the example of the Tuskegee Airmen, overcome adversity and obstacles, and, and rise above adversity and, and move forward. And uh, sadly, we've done this before, and we know how to do it. Uh, other folks in the industry came to our aid, and it's going to fly again. Thanks to the folks here at Air Corps, it's, it's happening in short order. made a list that there were 14 times that I faced certain death, 14, and I didn't. I was in front of a firing squad. They had the bullets and the barrels and everything. My interest in the B-29s is mostly in this particular airplane. And I don't know, I, I think it's maybe the fact that against all the odds, this airplane has continued to fly since 1974 and here it is 2017 to me it just the the unwillingness to die is i guess is the easiest way to say it it's the, the commitment that the people have made to keep this the background story on where the airplane came from that just fascinates me and it has since i was a little kid You've got to say Lancaster and it speaks volumes, doesn't it? And every time I've watched it, and I've watched it hundreds and hundreds of times, it always gets me. Every time, it's never failed. It was everybody, I think. You know, there isn't another sound like it, you know. And they hit any aircraft fire. And it was, Buddha makes it, it was slamming us good, man. It sounded like. It sounded like you just picked up a bucket of rock and just threw it both sides of the airplane, you know, and it's going off and the plane was getting this. And the co-pilot said, come hell and high water, we landing this thing. You remember the good things and the bad things, you know. Our, our goal is to make the airplane as authentic as possible. So we've got a Norden bomb site. We have our top turret rotates around, the tail gun moves, and we've got a bomb rack that's fully functional. So, Miss Mitchell flew over 122 missions without any injury to the crew, which was outstanding for the time. And that was another reason why we wanted to honor the crew with uh, restoring our airplane to what Miss Mitchell looked like. I think of what we owe to organizations like the CAA, who are keeping these old warbirds flying and preserving the memories of the young men that flew them decades ago.